the fierce little woman and the wicked pirate. The Fierce Little Woman and the Wicked Pirate by Joy Cowley Illustrated by Sarah Davis The Fierce Little Woman lived in a house at the end of a jetty. She knitted socks in blue and green wool to sell to sailors who had got their feet wet. But when there was no ships at her jetty, she was quite alone. Sometimes the little woman walked up and down the jetty, playing her bagpipes to the seagulls. Hmm, I'm not sure if they enjoyed it or not. Inside a house, there was a trap door which opened to the sea below. In summer, the fierce little woman climbed down through the trapdoor to swim under the jetty. In winter, she sat in her armchair beside the fire with a fishing line down the hole. At night, she lay in bed and listened to the sea breathing in and out under her door. I'm beginning to think maybe she's a bit lonely. One stormy day, a pirate came to the house on the jetty. I like the idea of a stormy day. I think it's helping the pirate look like something's going to happen. That's a stormy day for the little fierce lady. He stood on his toes and started tap, tap, tapping on the window. The little woman was sitting in her armchair, knitting fiercely. <laughs> it's only the wind, she said. The pirate went on tapping at the glass. The woman put her head on one side and listened. Hm, that's not the wind, she said. She looked at the window and called, Who's there? I don't think she looks worried at all. I think I'm starting to get an idea what fears might be. A voice answered, I am a wicked pirate. Let me in. No, she said. I am a fierce little woman and you can't come in. Go away if you know what's good for you. I'll break the window, said the pirate. You too. And I'll whack you with my knitting needles, said the fierce little woman. The pirate didn't answer. A whole hour went by. Then there came a knock, knock, knocking at the door. A voice cried, let me in. I told you to go away, called the fierce little woman. Open this door or I'll push it down, said the wicked pirate. You just try it, said the woman, and I'll hit you on the head with my bagpipes. I'm going to stop the book here. I want you to think will happen next. How will this story end? I'm going to give you some time to draw and write the ending of this book. How you think it will finish.
and then when you're done you can find part two and then hear the rest of the story to see how you went.